Hey friends, John here once again. Good morning or afternoon or evening, whenever you're watching this. For me, it is the morning. And this is another edition of A Day in the Word. And today I wanna to take you through a new prayer time that I've been doing. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, oh John, you just told us about your prayer time. Um, and what I would say to that is number one, stop whining. And <laughs> number two, um, this is a new sort of thing that I've been trying for the last three or four weeks. And I really wanted to share it with you all because this specific form of meditation and prayer has increased my sense of gratitude, my sense of passion, and my sense of connection with the Lord um, in a way that I've never really experienced before in the mundane moments of my life. I've had plenty of moments where I was on sort of like spiritual highs and I felt like, you know, the Lord was really working in me and through me. But in the last three weeks, none of my circumstances have changed. It's not like I'm doing some sort of incredible, you know, camp with youth or, you know, some sort of seminar, things like that. I'm, you know, I'm literally doing what I do every single day, but there's been a difference in the way I feel, honestly. I I truly walk around with gratitude and with a sense of connection to the Lord and a sense of absolute fire in my gut um, for what he's called me to do. And since, you know, my circumstances haven't changed whatsoever, I really think that I can um, attribute it to this new form of prayer and meditation. And I wanted to share it with you all because I really think it might work for you as well. So. Let's dive in. Now I know I said in the past that this doesn't necessarily have to be something that you do in the morning. And no, you know, you can study God's word, you can pray anytime. But this specific form of prayer and meditation is something that should be done first thing in the morning, right when you get up. For me, it takes me half an hour. Literally just half an hour. Um, and if you don't have 30 minutes in your day, then you really need to rethink about your day. Um, so what I do is the things that I need for it, once again, my Bible, my journal, a pen, my water, and my phone. Um, and the reason I need my phone is because I need the stopwatch. And because that's be, the reason I need the stopwatch is because this form of prayer is very meditative in nature and it is made up of several sort of sets, if you will, to steal sort of a workout term of breathing prayer and breathing meditation. And I time it um, two minutes each is sort of what I do. Um, so to break it down, starting from the beginning, let's dive in. So the first thing I do, I get up, I get all my materials, I lay them out in front of me, and then I do two minutes of what I call a breathing prayer of inviting God in. And a breathing prayer really can be done anytime, anywhere. It's simply, you pray along with the rhythm of your breath. And so when I inhale, um, usually I'll say, Lord, and this is in my head. So as I inhale through my nose, I think, Lord, and as I exhale, I pray. Um, I pray for whatever I'm asking for, or I confess something, or I thank God for whatever's on my heart. And in this, I invite God in to this space, into my living room to speak to me. So I breathe in, Lord, I exhale, you are welcome here. Breathe in, Lord, speak to me, exhale. And that's what I do for two minutes. So it's simply just. And really focusing in. And a couple things that I do in this inviting prayer, um, I echo the prayer in Samuel, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And on the inhale, I'll do speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And I think those thoughts and I really focus on inviting God into the space. Then what I do is I open my Bible and I'm still doing just sort of one chapter a day and I'm still doing like I had done in the previous A Day in the Word video. I go through, um, you know, I underline things that sort of quicken in my spirit. And if you want more specifics as far as how I read the Bible and how I digest what, you know, I think the spirit is telling me, watch that video. That should be able to help you a bunch. And once I'm finished with that, I put that down and then I go into several different sets of breathing prayers and they're all sort of themed differently. Um, and I got this sort of 
theme from a book entitled Too Busy Not to Pray by a pastor named Bill Hybels from the Chicagoland area. Um, and in it, he gives this sort of idea for prayer called ACTS, which stands for Adoration, Confession, Thanksgiving, and Supplication. Um, and so I start with two minutes of breathing prayer and I start with adoration. So I breathe in and I time it on my phone and I just close my eyes and I take whatever posture I need. You can sit back. I usually cross my legs and sort of leave my palms open like this. Sometimes I'll raise my hands in the air if the spirit's moving. And I start with two minutes of adoration. And adoration meaning worship. We come to God first to worship him. We place God on the throne of our hearts so that the rest of our prayer is sort of said through that lens of that God is the king. He is, you know, all powerful, almighty. And so those are the things that I sort of repeat as I breathe in. I breathe in, Lord, you are worthy of praise. Exhale. Inhale, Lord, you know, I praise you. Lord, I worship you. And I do two minutes of adoration. Then once that buzzer goes off or whatever, I take a little sip of water, and then I go into two minutes of confession. And for confession, what I'll do is my inhale will be, Lord, I confess, and then my exhale will be whatever's sort of on my heart to confess to him. So, you know, it's, Lord, I confess my anger. I do two minutes of that. Then it's Thanksgiving, and it's two minutes, once again, of a breathing prayer for Thanksgiving. And in this one, when I inhale, I say, Lord, I thank you for blah, blah, blah. Lord, I thank you for life. Lord, I thank you for breath. And I focus on the huge things that God is blessing me with, but I also focus on the very small things that God blesses me with every day. I think a lot of the times we talk so much about being grateful for who God is and what he does in our lives, but we don't really schedule out the time to be and feel grateful. There's a difference in saying that you're grateful and actually taking the time to be grateful. And even just taking two minutes to breathe and thank God and be grateful, it, it changes the way I feel throughout the rest of the day. Then finally comes supplication. And supplication means asking for things. These are finally like, Lord, I want a pony. Those sort of things. And I sort of split supplication up a bit. Um, I first write down what I call my micro focus. And for me, that's sort of three to five things that I'm focusing on today that I want to get done. Or today that I really want to invite the Lord in to help me with. So let's say that today I'm filming a video. So my, you know, my micro focus today was definitely one of them was filming this video and asking the Lord to speak through me. Things that you know you want to focus on today that in order to really thrive today for, you know, the mission that God has given you, those will be your three to five things to put in your micro focus. So after I do my two minutes of micro focus, I then take two minutes to simply listen. You know, we've, we've done a lot of talking to the Lord at this point. You know, we've invited him in. We've read and studied his word. We've journaled on his word. We've, we've given him adoration. We've confessed things to him. We've thanked him for things and we've asked him for things. So now it's time to simply sit back and listen and lean in and listen. Um, and if, once again, if you don't have two minutes in your entire day to just breathe and listen to the Lord, then you really need to relook at your agenda, baby. I don't say anything while I breathe at this point. I just focus on my breath, inhale and exhale, and whatever sort of comes into my mind, I'll write it down. And sometimes these things really come to fruition for me. You know, sometimes it's like, wow, God was really speaking to me in that moment. And sometimes I hear things like bowling and nothing comes about of it, you know? Um, but we have to offer ourselves up um, and we have to offer our ears up because if we don't, then we're never gonna hear anything. And I would rather hear 50% things that had nothing to do with what the Lord wanted for my life and 50% of things that he did than to not hear anything at all. And last but not least, I do two minutes of what I call macro focus. So we did our micro focus, 
earlier, which is focusing on the things that we're asking God for today, the provision that we need for today. But then we also need to look at the macro focus, which is sort of, for me, it's my life's mission. And for me, it's, it's three verses that I sort of circle with everything that I do. Um, and for me, that's Daniel 12, 3, um, Matthew 5, 16, and Proverbs 11, 24. And so I'll split those verses up into two parts. Take Daniel 12, 3, for example, which says, um, those who bring many to righteousness shall shine as the stars forever and ever. And I'll breathe in those who bring many to righteousness, exhale, shall shine as the stars forever and ever. And I'll do sort of each of those verses three times. And then what I'll do is I'll um, ask God to help me with the mission he's given me in life. And I have split up my mission in life into sort of three things, and that's to provide for my family, inspire others, and to glorify God. That is my mission statement in life. That's what I weigh every decision I make against, and that is what I ask God to help me do every single day through everything I do. And so I, what I'll do is I'll open up my palms like this, and as I breathe in, I'll say, Lord, help me to, and then I'll exhale three times. And on each exhale, I'll, you know, I'll say in my mind, provide for my family, inspire others, glorify you. Breathe in, Lord, help me to exhale, provide for my family, exhale, inspire others, exhale, glorify you. And I'll do that three times. And then what I'll do is I'll close my fists, actually. And then I will say, as I breathe in, I have the power to inspire others, glorify God, provide for my family. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And I'm not saying I have the power to, like, I'm so powerful, like I can do this by myself. But what I'm doing is in that moment, I'm celebrating the fact that in advance that the Lord has answered that prayer. I am, I'm stepping out in faith and I'm saying, Lord, I have asked you to help me do these things and I trust that you are going to give me the power to do these things. And for me, after I finish all of those breathing prayers, I'm in this state where I'm just ready to take on the world and I'm ready to do what I feel the Lord has called me to do. And so I really encourage you to try this. You might not be a morning person, I know, I understand that, but if you can just give yourself half an hour at the beginning of the day to do these things, and, and you know what? It can even be 15 minutes. If you wanna cut out and save your scripture study for later in the day, that's fine. Just do the ACTS, the A-C-T-S portion of the breathing prayers for two minutes each. That would take one, two, three, four, plus a macro focus and a listening, that's like, 12 minutes. If you have 12 minutes, just breathe and speak and listen to the Lord. And I, like I said, this has, in the last three to four weeks, in the last month, has just increased my gratitude, increased my passion, and increased my connection with the Lord exponentially. So I encourage you to do it, and please comment below and let me know how it works for you.